Oh, hello. I'm packing my bags because I'm going on holiday soon. Well, I'm going on holiday as soon as I finish my model, which is going to be a station. Great, aren't they? Baz lent them to me. I'm going to take a short journey to research the station and then a really long one to go on holiday. I'm going to visit my uncle who lives in a lighthouse in Scotland. He's written this book, Living in a Lighthouse. Hope he's remembered to send me the keys. Oh, and I've asked Roger to pop down and see me so I can tell him I'm away for a week. Now, what's the time, I wonder? Dingy dong! Now you're talking. What time is it, dong? Mm, I'll find out. Will you be long, dong? I'll tell you in a minute, Millie. Have you noticed, when you're waiting, a minute can seem like a really long time. But if you're enjoying yourself, well, it goes in no time. Dingy dong! It's time, Millie. Great, what time? It's just time. All right. I know. It's time to visit Lulu, and then I better get on with researching the station. Yeah, I've just arrived. I'm coming through the door. I'm here. Millie? Millie? Ooh, place is as empty as a balloon. Oh, no, that's not right. Balloons are full of air. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello, Wen. Hiya, Rog. Millie wants to tell me something. She's not here, is she? Right, Rog, not wrong. And I need to give her this. Oh, tell you what, I'll take it for her. I'll put it over there, by the model. Oh. Oh, clumsy, oh. Roger, what you like. Oh. Hang on. A suitcase. Oh, now it is. Hey, and look what's in the parcel. Keys. I know they are. There's something fishy going on here. And look. Train. I know it is. And track and slide and lighthouse. Oh, how interesting. Roger! Ah. <coughs> Sorry, fat cat. Can't you see? No, she's always getting under my feet. No, Millie! No, I can't see her. No! Suitcase, keys, train. Living in a lighthouse. Right. Well, it can only mean one thing. Oh, yes. What? She's going away on a train to live in a lighthouse forever. Oh. Hi, you went. Did you bring the keys? Great. I'm going to my uncle's lighthouse. We know. Oh. Well, as soon as I finish my research, I love trains. Oh. Especially really fast ones. Oh. Right then, who's coming with me to the station? Oh. Oh. Strange. They usually like coming on the research trips. Oh, well. See you soon. Bye. Oh, can she not care? No, she doesn't love us after all. Right, Rog. Not wrong. I've just written a new rule. <laughs> What's the matter with you two? It's Millie. She's going away. Really? Forever. Really? Oh, no. Oh, no. Fancy a cup of wind? Yeah. She's going away forever. Forever. Here we are then, the railway station. Now, I've got to get my ticket to Scotland while I'm here, so I'll go and do that first, I think. The booking office is where people come and buy their tickets and also get information about the different trains. Can I have a pocket timetable to Cromer, please? Cromer, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say again, please. Sharingham. Sharingham, thank you. Single or return? There you are, Millie. Have a good trip. Thanks. Now, this is the station forecourt. Those tellies tell you when the next trains are arriving and leaving, and these timetables give you the times of all the trains that come through the station. Ah, Glasgow Central. That's where I'm heading first. I wonder what all these people are doing here. I think I'll ask some of them. We're going to the seaside, then we're going to the Pleasant Beach. We're going on our holidays. We're waiting for our granny today. She's coming from Scotland. This man's got loads of parcels to put on this train. It's a train for long journeys. It's a very long train. Here comes the driver. He's got to do his engine checks before he starts his journey. And 
here are the parcels going on. They go in a van at the very back of the train called the guard's van. Oh, it's nearly time to go. And they're off. Bye. Oh, I love trains. trains in a row. Now see the drivers start the little engine. Off they go. <laughs> what about that then? Oh, I hope Wendy and Roger are all right. They seemed very miserable before. You hello, Millie! Oh no, what does he want? Oh, Millie! Uh, how are you? All right, thanks. Roger tells me, um, you're going away. Yep. Need anybody to look after your model while you're gone? No, I wouldn't want to put you to any trouble. It's no trouble. <laughs> but why, why don't we go and have a bite to eat before your long journey? Now you mention it, I'm a bit peckish. <laughs> I have prepared an appetising snack for us. Oh. Upstairs. Thanks, Mr Stoner. She's going away. Forever. And all this will be mine. Mine! Mine! <laughs> Once upon a platform, there was a woman called Vicky McMack. She'd worked at the same station for so many years that she'd started to act a bit like a train. This is how she walked. This is how she talked. How do you do? How do you do? And when someone got in her way, she said, Excuse me? Thanks so much, thanks so much, thanks so much, thanks so much. On her station, Vicky saw the same people almost every day. Mrs. DeFay, how are you today? How are you today? Very well, thank you, Vicky McMack. Ooh. Train running on time. If ever so late, it was you at eight. We'll just have to wait. Oh, because I'm going to the country to see my nephew. Well, have a nice day, Mrs. Tiffy. Have a nice day. <laughs> Vicky McMack was always cheerful to the passengers, but she couldn't help feeling a bit sad. Although she'd spent her whole life with trains, she'd never actually been on one. She'd love to go to the country. Next to arrive was Mr. Kazoo. Mr. Kazoo, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Morning, Vicky. Train running on time, is it? If it was so late, it was you at eight. You'll just have to wait. I hope it comes soon, and that's will not you till quarter to two. I hope so, too. I'm going to the beach today. Well, goody for you, Mr Kazoo. Goody for you. Have you noticed the other people were beginning to sound like her, too? But even that didn't stop poor Vicky from feeling a bit sad. She would love to go to the seaside. Then Mr Lee arrived. It's nice as can be. It's nice as can be. Howdy doody, Vicky McMack. Will the train be long? It's ever so late. It's not you at eight. We'll just have to wait. I hope it comes soon. The next one's not you till quarter to two. Ah! Look at the clock. Just look on the track. Thanks, Vicky McMack. I'm glad it's here. I'm going to London to visit Buckingham Palace. Mr. Lee, that'll be as nice as can be. As nice as can be. Vicky would love to go to London. Then one day, things were a bit different, and it happened to be on Vicky's birthday. Mrs. DeFay, where are you going today? I'm not saying, Vicky McMack. Mr. Kazoo, what about you? Where are you going to? I'm not saying, Vicky. Neither am I. Hello, Mr. Lee. What'll you see? I'm not saying, Vicky McMack. Neither, neither are we, neither are we. <laughs> Poor Vicky. What a way to spend a birthday. Just then, the train drew up. Vicky waved as normal. Then she blew her whistle, but the 
train didn't move. We can't go yet. Not everyone's on board. There's one passenger missing. Well, who could that be? Who could that be? You! you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! You're coming with us too! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! We'll go to the country! We'll go to the sea! We'll go up to London! Then and back, back here, here for tea. tea! And all Vicky could say was... Nearly time for her to go. She probably won't even say goodbye. Right, Rog. Not, Not wrong. wrong. Has she gone yet? Who knows? She probably wouldn't even tell us. No, well, it's probably all for the best. Nearly time to go. Who's coming to wave me off then? Aren't you pleased I'm going away? Hmm. I've been really looking forward to it. Oh! <laughs> See you next week, then. Hey? See you next week, when I get back. You mean you're not going away forever? No. Yeah, t to live in a lighthouse. Well, <laughs> you mean you thought that I was... <laughs> Are you going on holiday? Yes! yes hey! Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> so very, very glad. <laughs> I'm a going on a long train journey far away. She's a going on a long train journey. Won't you wait me on my way? Wait alongside me, sharing my anticipation. Hold your breath beside me as the train draws in the station. Raise your hands together. She'll be looking at the right side, She'll be. looking at the left side, She'll be. watching at the whole right to see what she can see. And there'll be fields on the right, right side, maybe houses on, on the left side, streets and houses, country towns, all the way to the sea. See you soon! Oh, this is great! Oh, this is great! 